Do you obsessively monitor every smartphone launch? Over the past year, your diary must have been busy. There have been a variety of brand, new, glittering phones, ranging from low, cost blowers to innovative flagships to folding phones. The best future phone for 2023 is described in this video as we assume you're here to stay up to date on what's coming ahead. To keep your smartphone knowledge current, we've listed below the 2023 confirmed releases, likely launches, and rumored disclosures. Number 10. Samsung Galaxy S23 Without a doubt, Samsung's upcoming top line will be the Galaxy S23. The Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra, to be more precise. There will be some hardware enhancements, according to rumors, even if there won't be a significant cosmetic change. These might feature a 200MP main camera with a ton of pixels and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. Faster charging is at the top of our wishlist because we've grown accustomed to the 65W Plus fast charging features of other smartphones from brands like OnePlus, Xiaomi, Motorola, and more. Number 9. Apple iPhone 15 There aren't many reliable rumors about the iPhone 15 at this time. Due to going on sale in September 2023, thank goodness Apple's release and launch dates are quite predictable. The glitzy dynamic island notch should be included in entry-level iPhone 15 devices, in our opinion. In addition, we'd want to see 8K video recording because, well, why not? and a periscope zoom camera to better compete with the powerful Galaxy S22 Ultra's lossless 10x optical zoom. In light of this, if the most recent rumors are accurate, the iPhone 15 Ultra may be introduced rather than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Which ones emerge as accurate only time will tell. Number 8. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold It would be a shame for Samsung to stop with the Galaxy Z Fold 4, considering it is the company's best folding phone to date and it's very unlikely that they won't. We are eager to see what the Z Fold 5 has in store because of this. There aren't many rumors going around right now. To take advantage of drawing and doodling on its large unfurled display, we'd like to see an even smaller design, faster charging, and an integrated S. Pen. Number 7. Fold Google Pixel. The elusive Pixel Fold comes to mind you'll get a wide range of responses depending on who you ask. The Pixel 6 was said to be bendable. Others forecasted the release of a distinct Pixel Fold gadget before the end of 2021. According to the most recent information, Google won't launch the Fold at all, at least not in its current state. Does that imply that a folding Pixel phone won't be available in 2022? No, not always. It most likely means that Google has abandoned its initial foldable attempt. According to industry information, Google won't introduce a foldable in the first half of 2022, so that would fit with the information. What will the Google foldable spec sheet have to offer? Even less sure is that. However, if it follows the Pixel SIXS example, you can anticipate a clean, premium design with a stock Android interface that is optimized for a folding layout. Number 6. Dragonfly Oppo. Four stars were awarded for Oppo's first folding phone in our extensive review. The find ends ability to conveniently fit in a pocket while still providing a premier folding experience was one of its selling points. Taking that strategy a step further, Oppo was allegedly developing a clamshell phone to compete with the Galaxy Z Flip 4. No specific details, code, named Dragonfly, have been made public. However, Rumor has it that its design will imitate that of other clamshells. Therefore, when closed, it should be the size of a palm. Yet, when opened, a flexible main display that is tall and narrow is revealed. It should use the most latest Qualcomm silicon and offer screens with 120Hz refresh rates. And if the Find N is any indication, the price should be reasonable compared to Samsung's folding devices. It is anticipated to debut alongside the Find N2. 5 and Huawei P60 Pro before the end of the year. The Huawei P50 Pro was an unusual product when it was introduced last year. It was a photography powerhouse thanks to a quartet of strong cameras with many megapixels in total. Among them was a periscope lens with a fantastic 200x digital zoom. The problem was that because of continued trade restrictions, it took a long time for the flagship to leave China.
Will its replacement perform any better? Time will only tell. Although recent rumors are far from certain, the Huawei P60 Pro and Pro Plus are expected to launch in the latter half of 2022. Based on the evolution of prior Pro mobiles, the P60 Pro will likely include a huge full screen experience in addition to a camera kit that is appropriately strong. However, little is known about the P60 Pro's exact specifications, much alone when or even if it will ever arrive in Britain or beyond. Number 5. The OnePlus Nord 3. There have been rumors of a full, fat OnePlus Nord 2 replacement for a time. But even though OnePlus has had a busy year with new launches, none have been the Nord 3. In May, the Nord 2T debuted as a seductive mid upgrade, and in August, the OnePlus 10T. The Nord 3's potential for 2022 continues to be a hot issue among Twitter pundits. There isn't much in the way of hard data. However, some sources are still optimistic that a new OnePlus Mid, Ranger will be released before the year is over. That will debut alongside a few new OnePlus gadgets, including fitness bands and smart watches. If and when the Nord 3 does show up, we anticipate it to be as feature, rich as its Mid, Range predecessors. Although we wouldn't count on any big design modifications, we would appreciate gains in battery life and low, light camera performance. Number 4. Nokia PureView. Since the Nokia 9 PureView was introduced at the MWC in 2019, there have been rumors about a replacement. Even after all this time, it's still unclear whether, when, or how the multi lens mobile might succeed. The elusive device has been given several different names. The soothsayers all agree on the expectation that it will raise the bar for Nokia, though. A PureView sequel should undoubtedly have a variety of innovative camera technology. Four cameras, enormous batteries, and powerful processors. There are many rumors regarding the Nokia 10 PureView, but no official specifications have been released. Some sources claim the lack of communication is a result of issues finding adequate silicon. No one knows for sure if that is true. It's unclear whether the product is even in development, let alone how much it may cost. As you can see, this is not a wager. Number 3. 13 Xiaomi Xiaomi often releases its flagship smartphones in December. However, this holiday timing may be moved up in 2022. According to some analysts, the Xiaomi 13 and 13 Pro could launch in October or November. It's probably best to treat that as speculation. As is any assertion that Xiaomi will release the devices simultaneously in China and Europe but let's hope we get a look at the phones before the year is up. After the snap, happy Xiaomi 12s Ultra. Rumors in the industry say that the Xiaomi 13 and 13 Pro will continue the manufacturer's partnership with Leica. So, we would anticipate that it would be equipped with quite a capable camera hardware. A 50MP primary sensor will be in charge of this. Other information is scarce, however. Several sites claim that both phones will use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor found in the Xiaomi 12s Ultra. Number 2. Redmi Note 12 Series Mid-range Redmi Note 2 is also coming from the Xiaomi stable. Given the release of the Redmi 10 2022 and Note 11T Pro this year, Redmi's lineup isn't the simplest to understand. But we have yet to see the Note 11 properly followed up. The lengthy deployment of its predecessor which began in China in October of last year but did not go worldwide until 2022, may have caused this to be postponed. At least two Note 12 smartphones will come with 6.6 inches FHD plus panels, according to filings that have been making the rounds on Twitter. Each is expected to be 8.8 mm thick, which indicates a change from the 8.1 mm thickness of the previous iteration. Number 1. Apple iPhone SA Apple's third Generation SE steadfastly adheres to the mold established by its forebears. It's an entry-level iPhone in a retro shell that yet bears the iPhone 8's styling. However, it also includes a few significant improvements, such as a 5G connection, longer battery life, and Apple's A15 Bionic CPU for quick processing. Here is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Post your feedback in our comments section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.